Fish with Stampin' Pretty. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I wanted to show you a really cool technique to be able to create this colorful background. I'm going to start out, I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock and I've already used two pieces of painter's tape to add ink. I'm literally using the painter's tape, tape as a stamp. So this is one inch painter's tape, but you could certainly experiment with different sizes. And I'm going to use Tangerine Tango. I've already used Crushed Curry and Soft Sky. And then I'll bring this over and I'm literally just pushing this and mushing this in, burnishing it a little bit. If you want and you don't want to get your fingers inky, you could certainly either cover your fingers or use a piece of paper to kind of do this burnishing part. I just try my best <laughs> to be careful with it. And you leave each strip down as you add the color. And the reason you do that, I'll show you in just half a second. So literally this back side is the uh, stamp. And you know what, I see a couple spots where I didn't rub enough, so I'm going to actually, didn't hurt to take a quick look, I just want to make sure it's fairly even for the look I'm after. If you wanted a little more blocky, it would work as well. So I'm going to lay this down. And the reason I left these two pieces down is so that I can easily stand over it and line them up to get nice even spacing. And then when I lay it down again, I burnish it pretty good to make sure there's as much ink transfer as possible. So here's the uh, wait for it moment. So cool. There you have it. There's stamp number one. And then here is my soft sky layer. And then the layer we just did together in Tangerine Tango. And isn't that just, I mean, it's just beautiful. Each time you're going to get a little bit different. You can decide how you want to lay it out. You could go this direction. Each time you're going to get a little variation. It's so artful and pretty. And I think it works great to layer either a sentiment or a darker stamped image over top. And then I just added a few simple um, embellishments. Um, some brads, some chocolate chip brads, as well as some hemp twine. Very, very simple to do. So thank you for joining me. Give this technique a try. I think you're going to love it. Bye-bye.